to wishing you continue your journey with us into 2020. We at Psych2Go look forward to your continued love and support. So let's begin. Respect is one of the things in life where it must be earned through our actions. We're also taught that in order to gain respect, we must first give respect. However, at times in our lives, we may find ourselves doing things that may affect the level of respect people have for us. Here are eight common habits that could probably make people lose respect for you. But fret not, for after watching this video, you'll know the things to avoid and how to handle certain situations. One, allowing others to interrupt you easily. Ever had people butt into your conversation? Frustrating, right? If you find yourself constantly being interrupted and you let them get away with it, people may lose their respect for you. It can give off the impression that you're unable to stand up for yourself. Even if you're being courteous, you should know where to draw the line. Some people may take advantage of it, thinking it's okay to disrespect the speaker. It is normal to be interrupted in a conversation, but you should try not to flinch and carry on with your sentence. Then get back to the interrupter. Two, interrupt when others are still talking. On the flip side, do you wait until the other person pauses before you open your mouth or do you habitually interrupt others when they're still speaking? In some situations, interrupting the nonstop chatter is the only way you can get a word in edgewise. However, it's generally in bad form if you interrupt when it's not necessary. Three, pushing opinions onto others like sales. No one likes to be pressured into buying anything. It's all right to just be introduced to a product. However, pushing sales to family or friends can often feel suffocating and people tend to do it because it's convenient. The same goes for your opinions and beliefs. If you try to make everyone align their beliefs with yours, they might see you as overbearing. It will likely cause others to distance themselves from you. It's hard for people to respect those who don't respect their right to think for themselves. Four, not following through. Were you rattling off your New Year's resolutions to all those present at dinner? Do you often make your plans public even before you set them into motion? You might wanna be careful, as not following through with these plans can often affect the respect people have for you. Telling others about your plans sort of holds you accountable for carrying out those said plans. If you sleep on them for too long despite frequent mentions, people may peg you as the all talk without actual action type. As time passes, people may disregard whatever you tell them as they feel there will only be an action. Thus, their respect for you will gradually be lost as well. Five, being inconsiderate. Being inconsiderate can give off the impression that you are selfish and unthoughtful. Using the point above as an example, allowing others to interrupt you easily can make people lose respect for you. On the flip side, disregarding the interrupter in the conversation can also be bad as you may come off as being inconsiderate. Thus, you can include the interrupter by returning to what they were saying after you finished your conversation. Six, being dishonest and lacking integrity. Nobody can tolerate liars. When you know someone has this bad habit, you automatically consider every word they utter a lie. Whether it's repeatedly being unable to fulfill your promises or telling lies, the end result is the same. You begin to lose respect. This is because it gives people the impression that you're not trustworthy or dependable and you have questionable principles. Being dishonest and displaying a lack of integrity will only make people lose respect for you. Seven, bragging too much. How do you do? I just graduated from Harvard Law. It sure feels cringy when people begin to advertise themselves to us without being asked, right? It's normal for people to take pride in their achievements and to share their joy with their friends and family. However, overdoing it can often lead to people losing respect for an individual. Talking about your achievements at the very beginning when you're meeting someone for the first time can make them uneasy, unless they have specifically asked. And eight, you treat people based on personal gain. Everyone has the right to think about self-benefits, right? However, if that's the only way you view your relationships, not only will you lose respect, but you'll lose friends as well. It's understandable to behave differently depending on who we're with, as we're closer and more distant in certain social circles. But if your behavior with people is based only on what you can attain from them, you'll probably not gain any respect from anyone. We're often taught to treat others the way we want to be treated. The same goes for respect as well. Treating people based on personal gain will only make people lose respect for you. Many relationships in life are built on mutual respect and trust. 
Respect must be earned through our actions. In order for others to respect us, we must first respect them and ourselves as well. It's a good note that we must not lose our self-respect because at different times in our lives, we may meet people who are not worthy of our respect as well. If you like this video and the way we explain the subject, subscribe to our channel. We try to explain complex subjects in simple language and cartoons to support students all around the world in their learning.